Hey guys, this is George, and on this video I'm going to be doing a review and my opinion on uh, the Lacie terabyte hard drive from um, uh, Neil Poulton. I think he's the one who designed it. Uh, here I have it by itself, and as you can see it right here, it's very glossy. It's like a uh, glossy plastic finish. It has uh, the version I bought has um, uh, uh, USB and uh, power connector and the uh, switch right here. I don't know if you can see that. So uh, right here in the bottom it has ventilation, and down there I don't know if you can see that stripe. It has a uh, Bluetooth. Um, I mean a blue LED that beams like if the hard drive is right here, it beams like over there. It would be like right here and uh, has four rubber feet which are very good for anti-vibration properties and you know the the hard drive operates very good I have it for like a year now um, you can see the unboxing I did about it uh, on a link which uh, which will appear on your right or on the bottom or wherever your you have the description bar so I will be posting that video too and you can watch the unboxing and see what it comes with so um, just to let you guys know um, the, hard, the hard drive is one terabyte but actually uh, you know every hard drive or any uh, storage uh, device you have it's like five percent less than what it actually says so instead of having a thousand gigabytes I have like nine, 930 something or a uh, number near that and I already have it filled with like um, 700 gigabytes I only have like 230 left and you know it works very good um, I think it has a Samsung drive in, inside I'm not very sure but I remember when I had it plugged in on my Mac it said Sa Samsung and you know and like code name um, but the hard drive it works very good on USB I don't regret uh, having bought a USB version it was like twenty dollars more to get the firewire version but I just didn't um, see the point of it I mean uh, USB 2.0 is much faster than Fire firewire 400 and I didn't want to use firewire 800 I mean I didn't want to have another cable and um, you know that's about it so it cost me a hundred and thirty dollars and I use it with a USB cable you know the ones that come for printers and it works it works very well I never had any problem with it um, and that's about it for this video if you want a external hard drive and you don't want to put it together uh, you can buy this one which is very good uh, Western Western Di digital are very good hard drives too um, they're a very good company but I decided to go with this one because I just love the way it looks and it matched with my black MacBook. So I hope you guys like this video and if you have any questions or opinion or anything just uh, write a comment or send me a personal message. And that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and goodbye.